Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of your Facebook ad campaign being active but not delivering. As you can see, this advert is active. Um, if you scroll down, you see that there's no resource for it. There's no resource. The messaging conversation, the reach, the impression, the cost per result, the amount spent, everything is zero zero. But it is actually um, active now. I will show you. I will let you know the reasons why that happens. There are about five reasons and we will explore each of them one by one. So first of all, let's, so in fact, take time and watch to the end because there are a series of problems. It doesn't have one exact course, but there are several of the courses. So you go through all of them and at the end of the day, you are likely to get the one that will be the solution. So the first one, check whether it is, there is temporary hold on successful. So how do you do that? When you come here, when you check at the left hand corner, you see bailing and payment. So I want to open it on a new tab and show you something. When you go to a new tab, go to the payment settings. And the payment settings, sometimes you, when you come here, you will see temporary hold unsuccessful. Weren't able to um, place a temporary hold on your, um, deb your payment method. If you see something like that, what it means is that Facebook is trying to check whether there is enough money in your account, but they check and there was no enough money. Sometimes too, there could be enough money, but it is just a mistake. It is just a mistake that it happens that way. So if that is the problem you are getting, I have done a video that is specifically for solving temporary whole unsuccessful problem. So in that case, if you are watching this video on the computer, check the link above or you can also check in the, the description for the description, whether you are watching it on a video or on a computer uh, or on a smartphone, you will get it. But after the link above, it is only on a computer that you can see. Okay, so that is the first one. So that solution, you can get it from that video. We go to the second option. If that is not the problem you have, then come and check these other four steps. Come and click on the edit by your ad campaign, then go to the ad sets, and then ad set, check your budget. What is the budget? How much um, are you spending? What's your budget per day? For example, this ad campaign, the budget per day is $2. $2 is too small. So you may be using a different um, currency or your local currency, which may not be dollars. And maybe you may use an equivalent that could be $2 or less. It is too small. In fact, it even depends on the type of ad campaign. For conversions, even sometimes $5 may be too small. Okay, so if it is engagement, um, $5 may not be too small, but campaigns like um, conversions and other campaigns that uh, the cost is high. Because you know, if you are running a conversion ad campaign, the cost per result is higher than any other type of ad campaign. So, you shouldn't spend a small amount. So if your budget, if you come and check and your budget is $2 or $1, some people will do an ad campaign and then do $1. Is I advise you never to spend less than um, $3. So you can increase it to $5 and observe whether it will change or it will not change. So the second reason could be what? Using a small budget. So you have to increase your budget. Okay. Now, if you come and the budget is not a problem, so let's say you come and you see that the budget, maybe you are spending, you're doing five or ten dollars a day. It will not be too small. But maybe if it's something less than five dollars, I encourage you to increase it. That is the second reason why. Let's go to the third reason. The third reason why that problem may be happening is that your your audience is too small. For the avoidance of doubt, I will advise you never to use an audience that is less than. Um, 100,000. Don't use an audience that is less than 100,000. If your audience is less than 100,000, you will not get any significant results. So depending on the location that you are targeting, sometimes you could end up using a very small audience with, a, with less than 100,000 and it will not give you the results. So in that case, if you realize the problem is the location, come and edit the location. So for example, if you are using a safe audience, you come and click on 
um, you, you choose whichever audience you want to choose. So let me say I choose Facebook ad setup and then I come to the audience. So you just, what you have to do is to what? Um, increase. There are so many ways you can increase the size of your audience. Number one, you can add the locations. You add more locations. Number two, the detail targeting. Maybe you added some terms to your detail targeting. If there are a few terms, sometimes the, the audience could be too small. So you have to add more to your detail targeting terms. Number three, you can extend the age group. So for example, if I was doing 25 to 65 and it's too small, I can reduce the 25 to like 22 so that I can re reach a wider audience. So the audience uh, is the third problem that you could have. Number four, it could be the placement. If the placement is too small, if the if you don't have many, uh, if you don't have, if the, your placement doesn't have a lot of people on it, then your advert will not deliver. So for example, here currently my audience, my my placement um is Facebook feed, Instagram feed, the Instagram profile feed. And then all that. So for this one, the problem is definitely not um the uh, what do we call it? The problem is not the placement. The problem is definitely not the placement. But some cases, let's say you come and you realize that it selected only one placement. So for example, some some cases you can come then you see that you are running the advert on only Facebook, and even on only Facebook, you are running it on only Rails. Yeah, there have been some situations like that where I open. Uh, I run ad campaigns for my client and then a lot. And then so I come and I realize that the only placement a person is using is Rails, Facebook Rails. And, and that is all. Maybe the person uh, is using only Facebook Rails. The person is not use, uh, running in stream ad. The person is not choosing the Facebook feed. And the Facebook feed is the one with the highest number. You can use the Facebook feed alone and get good results. And you can also use it with other placement, but you cannot use other placement alone. Like um, maybe let's say you are using uh, um, stories and reels alone, or maybe even stories and reels is, is a bit uh, larger in size. Let's say you are using in-stream ads only. If you're using in-stream ads only, um, in-stream advert only, and you are doing an advert that may be multiple pictures, it will not do very well on in-stream ads because in-stream ads are, for those that are always having one video and normally a short video. So that particular one may, the, the placement may be your problem, but if you check and then you don't have any problem with your placement, come to the last level. And the last level, I mean the ad level. At the ad level, come and check the picture or the video you are using. It could be that the creative you are using does not appeal to the people. So for example, you are using a video that the people um, it doesn't convey, it doesn't explain exactly whatever you are offering in your advert to the people. So if the video does not have a compelling message, or if it is a flyer and the flyer doesn't have a compelling message, or the ad, the, what do you call it, the primary text, the description of the product or the service does not have a compelling um, message to, to convince people to take the action that you want. It may be running. In fact, in that case, the advert will be reaching people, but you may not be getting any significant result. These are the reasons why you need to check why your advert is running, but it's not delivering at all. In some more technical cases, and this may be a bonus, okay? In some more technical cases, if it is a conversion ad campaign, a conversion ad campaign, it may be that Maybe the advert is running, but you are not actually getting a conversion. People are not purchasing on the website and all that. It could be that you don't have an active um, event. You see, the active event you set up, if it's a conversion ad campaign, we have active, uh, we have a standard and custom event. So maybe your 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 active, uh, your uh, custom and standard event is not actually active. You haven't tested it and it's not active. So it will not deliver the result you're looking for. So in that case, I have done a video on uh, how to resolve that problem. And if you check the link above or that in the description, you will see it and you can go to uh, find out how to get that issue resolved. If you go through uh, what I have just explained, at the end of the day, you'll be able to get a solution to whatever problem you are facing. Um, if you also follow this procedure and you still don't get a solution, leave your comments in the comment section. You can also follow the WhatsApp link or the Telegram link to WhatsApp us 
will reach out to you and then help you. But take notice, we charge to resolve those problems. So if you are contacting us, depending on your situation, if we're going to actually do a Zoom meeting to resolve it for you, you may pay, we may charge you uh, to pay. But whatever be the case, we don't charge that much. It may be something affordable you can pay. Thank you once again for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.